Certainly a whistle your dog will hear, and you. Birmingham is known as the workshop of the world in times gone by, but so many of them now have decamped to the Far East. We never have. Everything is still made here in this, our original premises. Plenty of soldering going on this afternoon. That's what I like to see. The company was founded way back in 1870 by Mr. Joseph Hudson. He was a farm worker and he made whistles. We don't know why he chose whistles as one of his products and he wasn't very successful with them. He sold hardly any, but his big chance came in 1883 because that's the year that the Metropolitan Police in London were advertising for something to replace this. He wanted a distinctive sound that anybody could hear and think, that's the police. And so the world's first police whistle was born. The UK had then one of the biggest trading empires in the world. Everywhere the Brits were, and that was nearly everywhere in those days, they all wanted the London whistle. So within one year, he'd replaced that tiny little workshop at the side of his house with a factory employing 50 people making hundreds of thousands of whistles. This is the press shop where we stamp out the essential brass parts that will make the metal whistles. Well here we have the fundamental component parts of the Acme Thundra which comprises a top and sides and a base. These will be fitted together and then a little knob will be attached to the back which will eventually take a split ring and a lanyard. The completely assembled whistle is being popped onto that turntable and it will pass through an induction coil that will bombard it with high frequency sound waves which will melt the little piece of solder inside that will flux round the various joints. And then they come here into this plating vat and they will spend 20 minutes in here accumulating 40 microns of pure nickel plate. Well, we've got to put in one magical ingredient to really make those whistles work, and that is the P inside the whistle. Now the final moment of truth arrived. Is it going to work? Well, our founder, Joseph Hudson, used to personally insist on blowing every single whistle. If that's anything to judge by, he wasn't disappointed. You never know what somebody might invent that suddenly turns everything upside down. There have been great attempts to provide an electronic whistle, for instance, which could, in theory, potentially, undermine our products. But that's failed. At the end of the day, a whistle is so simple, it requires no power source. If there's air in your lungs, it will work. It can save your life if you're injured in the forest. No one has a right to think that the future belongs to them. But of all the many attempts to replace the whistle, none have succeeded yet. <laughs>